September 22 to 01 five public holiday Hari Raya 9:40 a.m. This Chihuahua 13 years old had a history of heart disease, kidney disease, and recently urethral obstruction. Actually shows their bladder stones still there and a big stone behind the os penis. The vet advised uh, surgery but uh, the owner did not want it to be done because the dog is very old and uh, the bladder kept swelling to a big mango. So I told the owner you have to take the risk to uh, anesthetic risk as a dog is very old and has kidney and heart disease. Operation was done about a week ago and I put in a catheter. Now as you can see, the healing is still not fully healed yet. So I can't take out the catheter yet for the next two days. It's about a week. Now yesterday, and another surgery was done to remove the scrotum and the testicle because this is a male dog, not neutered. Now actually show that the dog has a very big prostate. Actually by the first vet. So the dog has to go for Tardec injection every week. So in, instead of Tardec injection which may affect the liver and the kidney, liver means jaundice, causing jaundice. So uh, I advise to take another risk to get the the testicle removed, including the scrotum, and this was done yesterday. So so far so good. The dog is still eating. Now as to whether the dog has kidney disease, has the first wet, advise two times a week. Subcutaneous. Hartman solution 250 ml. The owner keeps asking me whether it's necessary to do the the dialysis or not. So I told him we need a blood test, and uh, it was taken at the same time as this uh, neutering, scrotal ablation yesterday, and uh, the dog has to wear a bigger collar, e collar because it keeps on. Uh, traumatizing the operation area. Now, the wound is healing. This is a urethra stomy. And uh, the catheter, is a cat catheter, has been inserted for about a week. You can see the urine is quite clear. The urine is quite clear and uh, the dog is eating. But owner feeds hamburgers and all, all the diet when the dog has kidney disease. So this is up to the owner's wish because the dog doesn't eat prescription diet. Now you can see that uh, if the catheter is removed too early, the granulation will close up the urethra. Now the urethra is actually very narrow. It's about one point. 3 millimeter. This is a cat catheter and so we need the surrounding tissue to, to granulate well and then I'll remove this catheter. Now the dog went home early on one day after surgery but uh, he keeps scratching the, the area and uh, with the e-collar and probably with rubbing onto the floor so there was a lot of bleeding in this area. So the dog was here, was inpatient here for the the last few days, about uh, seven days. And uh, as you can see, this granulation tissue is still not fully uh, dried up. Now, the stone was here. This is the os penis. Uh, in the dog, there's a, there's a bone. And behind the ospinus, there was a big stone of a 4mm. 
So I had to cut here, take out the stone. Now the other way is to just do a urethotomy where you cut the, the urethra, remove the stone and let it close up. But there's a danger of, uh, of the wound and the urethra closing entirely. So that there'll be the same problem again. So that's why I decided to do a urethostomy, not urethotomy, urethostomy. Urethostomy is you put a catheter in and uh, you open up the urethra about two centimeter and tie the sides. The sides, open up, tie the sides. And uh, so you create a opening which the urine can flow through. It's called urethrostomy. Urethotomy. Urethotomy is just remove the stone and uh, and either you, you, you leave it open here and uh, most times it will close up. And uh, hopefully mm -hmm. that uh, in urethotomy, then the dog can pass urine through the normal way when the hole closes up. But if the urethra from urethotomy is uh, close up itself here, then you have a big problem because in that case, there's another urethra obstruction from the scar tissue, which means you got to redo, you got to do urethostomy, which is what is being done now. So there are two solutions to urethra obstruction behind the os penis. One is urethostomy, which you just open a hole after removing the stone and uh, the best is uh, to stitch up both sides and, and uh, create an artificial opening here so that the dog can pee. But because the hole is quite small, maybe 4 millimeters, which is the size of the urethra stone, so it may close up and cause stricture so that the dog can't pee. Now, urethostomy, that means you create an opening. So, urethostomy is what I have done, and this catheter has been there for nearly a week or, or 10 days and let the surrounding tissues close up. Then when you take out the catheter, there is an opening, the urethra opening, and the dog will pee from here, the male dog, instead of peeing from here. Peeing from here. Now in urethotomy, where you create a hole here, and uh, if the hole closes up without closing up the urethra, then the dog can pee normally has in a male dog from the penile tip. So uh, that will cost the owner more money because then if it doesn't, if the, if the urethra is uh, scarred up and closed up, then the owner has to come for urethrostomy, which is being done and uh, will be very angry or unhappy because he has to do another surgery and he's not being so old, 13 years old, you can't uh, take any more risks. So, so far in conclusion, so there are two surgeries done for urethras obstruction. There, there are still stones in the bladder which I didn't, uh, didn't operate because anesthesia would be too long and uh, this fellow would have uh, died for, because of the long surgery and anesthesia. So it's better to have an old dog alive and so I just did the urethra stone remover here without going through here to remove the bladder stone. There are two bladder stones, big ones, about six or seven millimeters across in the bladder as according to the x-ray. And also there's a prostate enlargement because this is a male dog and this is very obvious in the x-rays. So that one uh, will cause urethra obstruction because the prostate enlargement will close up the urethra at the prosthetic area. So in that case, the duct still cannot pee, although you may have done the, this urethrostomy. So uh, the, the solution is actually to neuter the duct which has been done, or target in fact, injection every two weeks or one week, which might cause liver damage. So now the solution which has been proposed and implemented is urethrostomy and neutering about seven days after uh, urethrostomy so that the dog doesn't have a long anesthetic
Toa Payo Vets, Sub Member 24215, Singapore.